Hey, this is a video about the Deadly Tower of Monsters, made by Ace Team, and I'm, this is DJ, or Mix of Zombies, with my friend Owen. Or Southpaw Panda. Southpaw Panda. Um, the le is that your league name, too? No, actually, league is Sir Panda of Wendy's, but Southpaw Panda. Okay, Pando you can find him general. there, and yeah. send him a friend request. No, I don't play league anymore, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so we're gonna do this uh, game. I've have been playing some of it, and it's it's definitely a game that isn't quite like it's not like a like I like it, but it's also kind of not so much fun. It's it's like a really hard one to say. So basically. To set up the premise of this game is you are playing a 50s, a 1950s B movie, and also there is a director recording a commentary with a stagehand watching this. It's basically a setup for this game. Yeah, of course. <laughs> like all good video games. Yeah. And then I can also change characters. There you go. Let's see. And now I gotta remember how where I left off. That's probably not. I. Oh. I guess you're here, and I guess. You're here. Yeah. And that gorilla is a tactic. So the one thing this game, one of the things this game does is cool is it does definitely do scale. Yeah. It's like you can see. Oh, oh. Well. Oh, good start. Good start. Oh, we just started you even farther. Yeah. <laughs> Any questions? Um, no. Uh, I'm just kind of trying to understand yeah, everything. Exactly. Oh, well. Oh. Do you have like a number of lives? Nah, it kind of just is whatever. See, the thing is, the game part of this game is kind of mediocre. Okay. But like, it makes Wait, up what? for it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> some of this is like a little. Like questionable, <laughs> but it makes up for it. Like just with, see, you can hear the the the, the commentary man, the director. Yeah. Oh, you sure we cannot find the right scene, sir? I'm trying, but. And so every time you die, it's like, oh, why do you have outtakes in there? <laughs> Which is a weird, yeah, it's like kind of funny, and then the second time you're like, oh, okay. I mean, so you do have a, a limited number of tries. I guess. Or it maybe. like you could just keep jumping in the purple And that usually in that up. situation, sometimes that usually it won't. That doesn't happen. Like, okay. usually it will be like, oh, okay, just respawn, you know? But. This seems kind of like a bad part of this game, so they probably are like, Well, it's not... We don't want to make the player suffer. <laughs> okay. Because normally it's not like you're chased by stuff. It's just stuff attacks you coming up or down. It's almost like they... Like, they're, they're exactly sure what to do for this game. Yeah, this game definitely feels like, okay, we're gonna make a 1950s game, but we're not, like, like, when do we make it, like, a game, though? You know, like, it's, yeah. like, it's a, it's a real... Like, there's some interesting stuff, like, it has, like, like, a decent combat system, not as much with the guns, but there's, like, also... Let me see if I can... Switch. See, like, now I have... Oh, no, that's still a gun. Oh, I, I guess I have both guns right now. Oh, okay. Switched out to use guns. You actually built sets back then. Props, walls, you name it. Then, you moved bits and pieces around and created whole new scenes. We were efficient. Ooh. I adopted that technique to my wardrobe, too. If you mix and match sufficiently, you can get by for years on only a handful of shirts and underwear. So a lot of this is... The problem with this game is also kind of... 
the first hour, which I've already passed, okay, is kind of is where it starts. After the first hour, it starts to lose because it's starting to recycle stuff. Oh uh, yeah. So it's like, uh oh, this is actually like a B movie, but not in the way we intended. <laughs> And also to um, show you, it also, that's also an effect. Oh. So I just so people know what that looks like. Where is it? So that's this is what it would look like normally. Okay. But but that it, but that doesn't look so great anyway. Yeah. So as well make it look like a beam movie. I hope we fight him, because if not, I don't know where to go. Yeah. Okay. What? What? Let's see. Shockwave after he's yeah. doing Uh oh. He's doing something. In the face. Yeah, I guess I can just shoot him even without that. Have you ever played Xeno Clash? Nope. How about Rock of Ages? You mean the bad Tom Cruise movie? Nope. I'm talking about a video game. Nope. My guy, this is pretty cool. I think I'm out of ammo on that gun. Let's see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ow. Yeah. I'm not on you. Almost got him down to half health. Dude, the monkey? Yeah. Yeah. That flame throw gun was working a lot better for you than this is. So have you ever watched any B movies? Not really. Like uh watch Cujo. It's Cujo. It's about that Saint Bernard who has rabies and kills me that. Sounds like a decent movie. <laughs> I mean <laughs> at two AM, yeah, it's great. See, I thought Cujo was about something else, honestly. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I think I'm thinking of, uh, Kojak, actually. Okay. Where is my health? Uh, I think it's, it's the green It's pretty good. Bar. Yeah, you keep those green orbs keep appearing, so you keep getting health back. I think. I hope something interesting <laughs> happens after this. Because, yeah, it's just like... Like, I, and I did record some video, and I'll probably put it in this, beforehand, where yeah. it's a lot more like, okay, things are popping off, you know? Yeah. And at this point, it's just like... Grind we're tired. Yeah, we we're really like it's like okay, we spent all our time on that first part, and that that's like a decent joke. Well, not, but also it's like oh, that the characters keep changing is just like oh, we never. What? Uh, yeah, there's pterodactyls. That shoot flamethrowers? Yeah. Fun fireballs? Huh? Yeah, it's it's a fifties movie. Yeah. Do you do you want this to be historically accurate? No. I don't want. And it also, to there's a joke about yeah, they said that dinosaurs don't shoot flames out of their mouth, but what do they know? <laughs> That's true. They could have. Can't tell that from bone structure. I guess maybe. I don't know. And so this is the other cool thing, is you kind of keep going up. Yeah. Let's see, that would be here. You earned a skill point. 
Yeah, you can use... See, that was another thing that I thought was weird, is it's like, you can technically level your character up, but it's like... This game is only about maybe four or five hours long. Okay. So it's like, yeah, you can do that, but like, their base level is... Maybe if you were playing this on hard or something, but like... Right. Their base level is decent enough. Does Batman vs. Superman have lens flare? I don't think so. The problem is, it's just, I don't know why people like doing action sequences at night. but Or in slow motion. How no, much? no, there's no slow motion. There's there. no slow motion whatsoever? Or slow motion when it gets fast? Uh, I don't... Eh, really? I don't really know. I don't remember there being... Okay, because Watchmen was full of it. No. But, uh, I mean, it's... The combat style is much like Man of Steel's. Okay. Which I have not seen, so I would not know. Oh. The, the part where he fights... The part where he fights Zod isn't as good, but the part where he fights Zod's two henchmen people was fantastic. Hmm. Also, none of this had just... Just so you know, that character we just saw first time reference. In the, in the game? Yes. Okay. Which also kind of makes sense because, you know, new characters show up all the time because it's a bad movie. Yes. Yeah. So you can definitely see, like, we have... You know, made progress. Yeah. Which is another kind of cool thing. Yeah, Brown Cemetery. Yeah, good old Ludwig. We cast an actual doctor to play Dr. Peculiar. Never again. Oh my god, he was a cranky old coot. May he, um, rest in peace. Yeah, he said that was so weird. Yeah, some of this rideling. Uh oh. Oh, uh, that's not him. Oh no. Uh, oh wait. See, they fixed it. Oh, this is a good monkey. And there is like some parts where it's like, I can't finish this part. Like, oh no, it's too fast for my human legs. Maybe if I was someone else. And it's like, why are we watching this scene? So you go back and you become the robot or whatever. Incredible job the animators did with the King Gorilla can only be outdone by their work in the Mecha Million. I'll leave further comments for later in the film, but this was truly Oops. Yeah. an epic creation. That scimitar is yeah, not that bad. Work. So, like, yeah, you can. So I can upgrade, but I don't have any of the resources, apparently. There you go. And then I can change my guns out. Okay. Flame throwing zap guns and really sufficient so far, though. Yeah. So then, like, when this happens... Oh, gosh, I forget how to... There's a mo RB. Yeah. But now they're up. Which is the other thing is it's kinda cool seeing them come up, but also you can just deal with them like that. Yeah. Here we see our first glimpse of a technique I use throughout the movie. Wanna make a big scary monster look even more menacing? Put it in a dome. Monster doesn't look scary enough already? Put it in a dome. Want the audience to know when a monster really means business? In a dome. So, a lot of this is also the director kind of being a jerk. Yeah. Like, he's just like... Uh-oh. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm getting worked here. Let's see. These guys who came out of the dome, so I haven't seen it really serious. So, and that's a direct reference to a movie right there. That, yeah. like, pixel light, that, like... Uh, rotoscope character. Okay. Oh, you have a... Yeah. How many more of these clips do you have? 
So I think we'll try to beat these guys in a fifth battle be for this video. That sounds... Alright. Okay. <laughs> What did that do for you? Nothing, because I already have full health. Yeah, okay. That's what it looked like it was supposed to do, but it wasn't supposed to be. Yep. Okay, actually, if we have to fight those again, I think we're good right here. So that's deadly. Like, the thing is, is, like, there are, like, definitely some things I like about it. Yeah. But, like, but, like, the polish isn't there. Yes. Like, it's, like, it's definitely, like, and some of that they can get away with it being a B-movie. True. But, like, some... See, he's coming up the other way, though. So that's kind of cool. You can see yeah. them coming up from the top. Yeah. But, like, some of it is just, like... It's, like, the game playing part is kind of the weakest part. That, yeah. Like, it would be just as, like, fun watching this, you know? Yeah. So, and then you have to listen to the same lines again. So I think there we're, at least for part of this video, we're good, but... Yeah, yeah it's like, okay. Like, I yeah. really liked the first hour, and then it got a lot weaker after oh. that. Which is, you know, it's like that problem that a lot of games have, yeah. so... Yeah. yeah, yeah. Overall, I had some issues with this game. It just didn't fill up fulfill what it needed to do while still being like a hacky b-movie i think that was my biggest problem with it is it just didn't like it has too many mechanics and they don't really help to make the game better and then it also is just not very fun to play like stuff like this was kind of cool it reminded you of something that actually was in a movie, but it's just like, uh, this is still not fun. And I thought this game was, it's just a mediocre mixed bag of some, like, enjoyment. If it was, like, uh, like, five dollars, maybe, but it's just not that good. It's just not that fun to play, and I just felt bored at some point. The first hour, alright. But, yeah. Not, not the best of Ace Team. It's very innovative in some ways, does not pull it off, is my ultimate thoughts about this.